Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a quick card to share with you today. I used this um, stamp set from CC Designs. It's called Unicorn Dreams. Um, when I did check, there was one left in the store, so I will have the link down below if it's still there. <laughs> Super cute um, unicorns. The sayings are a little tiny, so for my card, I did use the saying from this Greeting Farm Magical Day set, Hope Your Day is Magical, um, just because I wanted it bigger to pop out of my background that I did for the card, but I used um, this unicorn right here. And then I also used the Wonky Stitch Square, the largest one from MFT. Um, and I forgot, I did record the process for the background, but I forgot to mention that I used Canson watercolor paper for my background. And then for the actual unicorn stamped image, I used the B Paper Artist Marker Pad. Okay, so here is my card. It's just a five and a half by five and a half square. Um, I found this purple paper in my stash just out of a six by six paper pad. And here's my watercolor background done with Distress Inks. The sentiment was stamped with Versamark ink and I did Versamark so that I could emboss it. Um, I have this holographic embossing powder, super old from the Artful Stamper, which I don't believe exists anymore. Um, it used to be a store here in London. But um, I don't know if you can see the shine to it. It's It goes from like yellow to green, like a holograph. So, and the color can change depending on how hot you ink the actual embossing powder. It can have like a reddish orange color to it. And my image is just colored with Copic markers and I did Wink of Stella on the horn, the hair and the hooves. And a little bit of gel, black gel on his eyes. And that's it. So I do have attached the process for the splatter background and coloring in the unicorn. So please check out Jamie's shop. Uh, my coupon code is Sarah10 for 10% off your order. Um, there is some new stuff in there from Neat and Tangled right now. And um, some of the new Lawn Fawn is still available. So check it out. <laughs> Leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks, bye. Okay, so I'm just working on my watercolor background. I have a piece of watercolor paper. Um, this is just a little clear bag that I'm gonna use for smooshing the ink on here. I have a regular spray bottle. I have scattered straw, salty ocean, and shaded lilac. So I'm going to start with the shaded lilac because I know that is probably the lightest color. So I'm just going to smoosh it onto my bag and then give it a little bit of water. I'm using this one because it's a misty spray. I do have my distress sprayer for later on but for now I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to smoosh it on like this like I got some cat hair. My cat likes to jump on my desk when I'm not actually here. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna get my heat gun so I can dry it in between. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly dry, you just want it somewhat dry so that you can um, build the color up because I want to build it a little bit brighter. So again, smoosh and then spray. And you can Move it around, drag it, whatever you want to get your color on there. Okay, 
so we're gonna clean this off now. And we're gonna move to the scattered straw. I don't want it to really turn that brown. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. There we go. I had a little bit too much water before, so I was making it too muddy. Last color is going to be the salty ocean. there's our background. I'm gonna flatten it out and die cut it and we'll be back. Okay now on to the Copic coloring. For the unicorn itself on the body I decided to do the purple color so I used BV02 and BV13. Just doing some simple shading. It's um, a smaller image so you really don't have a lot of room to do too much detail in there but um, the best part that you can emphasize is the the nose on the horse, so I just worked on that. The horse, the unicorn, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I did add in some R11, just little dabs for the cheeks and for the ears. The next color that I'm moving on to is the turquoise to match the background. I used the BO2 and the BO4 and I just decided to do the hoofs in that color. And then as I was doing that um, I decided to do the horn on the unicorn in the rainbow colors using all three colors. So then for the yellow, I chose YR31 and YR21. 
those two colors ended up not giving me very much of a contrast so in the end I added in wire 24 to get some um, more shading in there. Just above my image that I'm coloring you'll see that I do have a Sandy Alnock hexagon chart. I do find that a very good chart to um, pick out your colors and you can just see the tiny corner edge that is actually the background paper that I had already colored with the distress inks and I just have it sitting on top of the chart so that I can pick my colors based on um, the distress inks that I used in the background. So that's pretty much it for the coloring. Again, leave a comment, subscribe, don't forget the coupon code SARAH10 for 10% off your order. Have a great day. Bye.